The council agreed to purchase a motel and turn it into homes for those living on the street. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is live in the studio with What's next for this project, Ryan? Yeah, Kimberly Wale, tonight I spoke to the mayor of Chula Vista who says it could take roughly nine months to renovate the motel once it's bought, but some aren't on board with the city's plan. It's an older building. For many, not much to see by the naked eye. But for city leaders in Chula Vista... This, I think, allows us to go to the next level in our long-term strategy. A strategy to tackle homelessness riddling the community. This motel on Walnut Avenue is a part of that plan. We've been innovative and we are taking our responsibility to being a regional leader on homeless solutions. The Chula Vista City Council approving unanimously to move forward to buy and renovate the Palomar Motel Tuesday night. Please vote. Item passes unanimously. As we reported, the price tag for the 31 rooms is an estimated $13 million. Using possible Project Home Key and or American Rescue Plan funding, some feel differently about spending more money on curbing homelessness. I feel that they're wasting too much money helping the, ch the uh, shelter. They're uh, creating programs that uh, children are uh, using. Others who are experiencing homelessness feel it's a step in the right direction. It was going to happen. You know, it's better than living in a tent. They're breaking your tents. They do everything. They steal, they beg, they borrow, everything. Other cities in the county have taken this same approach of turning motels into homeless housing, including El Cajon. Something Mayor McCann says he's taken note of when developing this plan. I also think we have to make sure we're looking at both sides. Um, we want to provide solutions to get homeless off the streets, but there also has to be an accountability factor. Now, city staff's presentation before council today estimated that folks could be getting inside the motel by early 2025. Reporting live here in the studio, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.